me why you have this outfit on today and came to vote like this. <laughs> uh, Eastside would be in a great show for many reasons. It's uh, sad that is our reality at the moment. Um, and it's so important for us to come here today and um, as humans for myself, both for my rights and um, these issues are so important to me and everyone around my circle. I have a blended family. Um, I have a wife. I have a trans daughter. Um, everything they are against, I kind of check all those lists. And um, it's terrifying. It's absolutely terrifying to know that they, I am made to feel that I'm hated. I feel that I'm hated. They have stolen the flag from me. Every time I see an American flag, I don't feel the same love I used to. I feel that person is a racist, is a bigot, is anti-semi. I mean, everything that I am for, they're against. I'm, I don't feel safe. And being here today, um, voting for her, making my contribution to, you know, my vote counting for her, um, you know, hopefully um, she will be our next president, you know, and I am emotional because this is not a film. This is not a, a series. This is not a show. It's it's actually it's actually reality. Uh, you know, um, I could wake up tomorrow and <laughs> this might not be a costume. This could be reality. Um, and can you explain what that outfit refers to? So, in the show, the women were raped. Their rights were stripped. Um, as mothers, they were just basically baby machines, you know? Um, they had no rights. It was just... You're here to do a job. Now, shut up your dot you know your job is done now you have no legal rights you have no um yeah you're you're just a body and it wasn't even like a surrogacy where the woman lovingly has a contract and monies are exchanged and the woman interviews the family and can provide this beautiful, you know, gift for these couples that are trying to conceive and so on. In the show, these women are raped and in many cases in front of the wife. Um, and it's all based on religion, you know, and... And which show is that? Uh, this is uh, The Handmaid's Tale. And what I love about how courageous they all were because they had enough and they were like, we're not going to take this anymore. And they rebelled against, you know, what they were supposed to do and they started fighting back. So what this outfit means to me is that my way of fighting back, my way of saying, I don't believe in Trump's idea of what making America great again is, because quite honestly, that wasn't a great America. 
not for me anyway, not for a majority of the people. Um, I don't really know anyone that could say that America was great, you know, for them. Um, and when you said they earlier, you were referring to? So, uh, I'm not generalizing to Republicans. I am speaking of the, you know, people that support Trump. Uh, people that, I don't even want to call them Republicans because they are these people who have this really strange point of view of what America should be. It's almost uh, neo-Nazi kind of like, if men could rule the world, if women should be slaves and, and they could be talked to however, you know, they want to be talked to and like, uh, because I know many Republicans and they're not like that. You know, uh, I understand that they're more, you know, conservative when it comes to many subjects and money, but the, what we call the Trumpers are, a, it's a different breed. It is the hatred and it's hate and ignorance and they don't care about facts and they don't care about the truth and it's just scary. I mean, J.D. Vance just called her trash. I mean, who does that? It's... I appreciate it's it. It's just horrible. <laughs> Thank you. Now, do you want to use your name? Uh, sure. It's Veronica McGrogan. Can you spell that for me? <laughs> sure. M-C-G-R-O-G-A-N. And regular on Veronica? Yeah. Okay, good. How old are you? I'm 50. Yeah. And you're from Bloomfield, Yes. Right? How many kids do you have? I have two. And what do you do? Uh, I'm an optician. 